took out you pre yeah. being married to Will back in the 90s. Where did you grow up? Who was little Cherie? Um, upstate New York. So I'm from Schenectady, Schenectady, mm. New York. Yeah. And um, I had, you know, my mother was a single parent. Um, my dad was around. My dad is Italian. My mother's black. So there was that dynamic, you know, I mean, I dealt with a lot of um, racism in the family and uh, like on my dad's side. Um, and, and let me tell you what's really interesting. I got to say this. This literally was a discovery two days ago, two days ago. So I tell the story, you know, he uh, and I've made peace with him. This is my father's father, uh, my, my, my biological paternal grandfather. I didn't meet him until I was 16 years old because he didn't want, you know, he, he just couldn't accept, he didn't want, you know, anything to do with black grandchildren. And, um, what was really interesting is I've always carried the, the mantra that, oh, I was rejected as a child. And then it was like, I wasn't, I wasn't rejected. Right. How could I be rejected? He didn't even know me. Right. He didn't reject me. He rejected the idea of a black grandchild, a black, you know, granddaughter, a black grandson. So it wasn't personal. Mm -hmm. It wasn't personal. And I made my peace with him prior because I got to see him with, with my son. I got to see him with Trey. When Trey was a baby. I, you know, I took Trey back. He wasn't even two and he loved on Trey and, you know, and that was so beautiful to see because I saw his evolution. I saw his growth. You never know what people are taught. I don't know what his upbringing was. I don't know. Maybe he had a black girlfriend and, and he got a beat down for it. I don't know. There's so many things that we don't know. We don't have all the information. That's why we are to believe the best because you don't know. You're making it up. So at least make up something that works for you. Or you at know? least make up something that doesn't connect you as the person who's responsible. Because I think a lot of people do. They love to say, it's my fault that my grandfather oh, didn't love no, me. No, no, no. I, 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 that, that. I don't think I've ever done that. Good. I, I don't think I ever thought it was, I, I guess maybe in a way, because you you take away from it that maybe you're not lovable. So I guess that is that is kind of, you know, a, a blame. Mm -hmm. that, that is an avenue of blame. But um, but I knew that that was that was really his stuff, but I still thought I was rejected. Mm -hmm. And the game changer was he didn't, how could he reject me? He didn't know me. He didn't even know me to reject me. You know, he rejected the idea of, you know. Well, society so, is like that. It's like wherever it came from, obviously we know there's lots of families that teach their yeah. children really horrible things. Thanks for hanging out, mama. I know how little time we have in our day to honor ourselves and I'm just thrilled to be a part of it. Make sure you click like, rate, and subscribe. I'd love to hear what you think about today's show and what you want to hear going forward. Remember, mommying is a gift and you're doing a kick-ass job. So, Lusa and mama stay.